Our China correspondent, Yenna Li, is covering this state visit for us. She joins us live from Beijing. And Yenna, clearly then Ukraine, a key issue today. What did you make of those comments uh, by Macron and Xi? Well, as expected, Emmanuel Macron being the guest in the room was the one who was really trying to uh, appeal to his Chinese uh, counterpart, talking about France and China's uh, many cultural and historic ties and saying, despite their differences when it comes to political systems and when it comes to human rights, with a little bit of mutual respect, uh, discussions can bring about a concrete results. That's what Emmanuel Macron was trying to say throughout his uh, speech. He thanked President Xi twice for uh, giving him so much face-to-face -face time during this state uh, visit. Now, the war in Ukraine is clearly a priority for President Emmanuel Macron. If he comes out of this with nothing, it will be a bit of an embarrassment, much like when he tried to reach out to President Putin. Now, while he was sitting alongside President Xi, Macron zoomed in on some of China's own narratives to try and find a common ground. For example, he said, you know, because Beijing often boasts about being a major UN power, Macron said, as permanent members of the UN Security Council, we cannot accept the violation of the territorial integrity and the sovereignty of a country with internationally uh, recognized borders. Now, for now, on the Chinese side, not much new has come out of the mouth of President uh, Xi Jinping. We heard the very the usual things he usually says, that the nuclear war must not be fought, we are for peace talks, etc. He did uh, condemn the attacks on civilians and civilian infrastructure without actually uh, accusing Russia of being behind those. Overall, not much budging there from uh, Beijing's side. In fact, the official government handout that was released after the two men's uh, private uh, sit-down earlier on this Thursday they didn't even explicitly mention the word Ukraine. Diplomacy, though, is, of course, a, a long-term game sometimes. So the results of Emmanuel Macron's time spent with President Xi might have to be measured in the days, if not the weeks or months to come. And, Yenna, Macron's not the only Western leader in Beijing right now. Ursula von der Leyen, the European Commission president, is there as well. In fact, all three leaders are having a trilateral meeting at the moment. Just give us a sense as to what's likely to come out of that. Well, Emmanuel Macron actually invited along Ursula von der Leyen with him to his own uh, state visit to, to have, you know, the economic might of the EU behind him and also have this united front, a united approach, European approach when it comes to dealing with China. Uh, before the trip, actually, Elysee Palace sources told us, you know, five, six years ago, European nations weren't so united on this. Now we stand together. We have a coherent policy when it comes to China. But so far, we haven't seen much of a, a united front. It's all been a bit of a, a fail for them. Um, EU leaders have been exhibiting a rather different attitude to that of uh, President Emmanuel Macron, notably with Ursula von der Leyen's own speech before uh, she left for uh, China. And that said, tone and attitude aside, the overarching approach coming from pra Paris and Brussels is, is rather similar. It's all about asking, which is uh, to diversify their economic partners away from China and also acknowledge that uh, China has become a very important uh, strategic rival. Now, it might be Emmanuel Macron that's the one sending mixed messages and mixed signals here because he has brought along with him a delegation of more than 50 business leaders. And just moments ago, his ministers and representatives of these businesses signed 20 new deals with their Chinese counterparts. Yen Ali, live in Beijing.